first things first is who's writing history, who's the author, and are they pro globalization, pro institutions that are an extension of imperialism? Are they pro people and proletariat? I think that's. I think in some avenues, some facets, people will. You know, the UN, some people still think it's a great organization. It's, I think the idea of bringing memberships to a council where everyone can actually address their issues is a great idea. And I think that we've done that as a society and as a human society. We naturally come together and try to address our issues. And I think that the, the basis of it is a great idea. But when you have a security council that, regardless of what everyone else says, they, they do the yes or no, six countries, six superpowers voting on the rest of the world, how is that like even then democratic? And then when you look at who the security council is, their former colonizer countries, mm. so it's a continuing perpetration of their ancestral lineage, almost. And it's not to say that people who are descendants of, you know, the Brits, of the French, of the Portuguese, you know, the early settlers and all that, it's not saying that all of their descendants are in that mindset, but there's these institutions that continue perpetrating what they did, but this time they, they're not running around in ships, they're wearing suits and ties. That, that's the only difference for me. Um, I think that there has been attempts of, from committees of the United Nations that tried to do things, but even then they did it within their, their own interest. It's like the whole Rwanda situation. Everybody knew that was going to go down. So what did the United Nations do? They went, they pulled out all the descendants from Belgium and left the Hutus and the Tutsis to go at it. You know, but they, they extradited the white folk and protected their own. Like If you created that problem, clean it up. And so that's why I said history will... Again, it depends the author and depends is it the winners, as they say, that's writing it or the losers. But I think to every story, there's not just two sides. I think there's a, it's like a dice. It just depends what side, you know, when you throw it, what side is up. Is it the corporate side that's up? Is it the more liberal side that's up? Is it the, the radical side that's up? There's so many different facets. And I think that depending on your reality is how you you have that relation to these institutions. Like, if you're Latin American, the IMF is not our friend, <laughs> you know? And it's not there to help us, it's there to make sure that we don't progress economically, keep us, you know, oppressed economically. Another tool of imperialism is economic oppression. So, again, like I said, it depends who writes it, and who is being critical of it and what type of critiques are they presenting so is it coming just from a place of anger a place of resentment or is it coming from a critical standpoint where I don't have I may not have direct experience with these institutions but critically looking from the outside in this is what I see that is being perpetrated from this institution so again you have like people who stand on so many different spectrums in regards to like whose story is told and then even then it's like whose story is allowed to be told so as we've learned history is is a very scary thing but it's also a very beautiful thing because if you learn from it you progress but if you're not really critical of it you might be repeating it like okay we had the cold war that was started by the french in vietnam now we're in Syria, the new Cold War that the French started yet again. So they're just picking known geographic locations. Like, what's going to be left of the world to destroy? Like, where are we going to... Once we're done destroying the Middle East, who's next? We already destroyed Africa. 
Latino America is very self-destroyed and it is continuing to destroy itself from outside forces. Are we going to move to Mars? Find life forms there and destroy their life too? Claim, give them a new title? Like, so I think we just have to be critical of what we read and how we analyze things because I think regardless you're going to offend someone because if you're either in for it, against it, or the floater in between that doesn't know which way to agree but again it, history depends on the author mm-hmm.